Well, hi there, and welcome to the Nisha Jackson Show. I'm Rusty Over. She is Nisha Jackson, and uh, you're in your um, you're in your workout clothes. Normally, you're all fancied up, and you're like ready to go. What are you in your workout clothes for? I decided to wear my workout clothes because guess what I did today? I uh, went swimming, shopping. No, you worked out. I worked out. Well, I work out every day, but today I got to climb a mountain. Is that new for you? I mean, because you've been hurt. I can't believe you're doing it. You hurt your leg really no, bad. I have to say when I injured my knee, which we've talked about a lot on these shows, really injured my knee badly. Um, did total reconstruction surgery. The thing that I was most sad about was not being able to hike the mountain. And I'm, I'm here in La Quinta. I love hiking the beautiful mountains around the Palm Springs area. Like, I love it. I did it so many days last year. And it's really um, such a great exercise for me, not only just uh, physically, because uh, it's very challenging, mm -hmm. but mentally and emotionally, it's so clearing for me. I can meditate when I walk and hike, and I take my dog with me, and it's just such a great time for me. And so when I injured my knee, all I could think about was I wasn't going to be able to hike the mountain. So I was actually thinking it was going to be sometime March or April before I could do this. And it's not even, well, it's January. Wow. Well, and, and I'm, was it, was I, it hard? I, I mean, you said it was challenging. It's a, it's a tough hike. It's a tough hike. Uh, all of the hikes around here are actually pretty tough. And um, I just powered up the mountain like a goat. Well, I am a goat. I just powered up the mountain and it was so cool. All my friends with me, um, I had many friends with me today. And uh, it's- Except for it, me, I was not invited. <laughs> It was a great day, and I just feel so happy that I can walk. I'm so happy that I'm I can I'm proud hike. of you that you did that. Very proud. You yes. know what's interesting, and you're talking about all your friends and stuff. First of all, I got a chance to, to meet your parents. I met them once years and years and years ago, but got a chance to, I'm kind of, okay, I'm staying at their house in, their little, uh, in, in one of their rooms, and your dad's like, Hey, and nice to see you. I haven't seen you like in 15, 20 years. Um, house is open. Uh, if you want to go in, uh, whatever you want, uh, feel free. Refrigerator's open. Uh, you, you need the keys to my car. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the nicest people in the world, your mom too. And so you've got this, this core base, I think, that most people have no idea. I know I sure as hell have no idea what that's like. Um, and so is, I'm, I see how you are able to get people uh, around you, your tribe, and I'm sure that, that the basis is with your parents. Yes. You think? Yes. Well, my, my mom and dad have always put a really strong emphasis on um, family support. And doesn't mean we all get along, and it doesn't mean that we all agree on everything all the time. Of course, that, that would be um, completely unrealistic. But 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 my family is very supportive. Um, this last couple of years has been really difficult for me, and my mom and dad have always been there for me. But I'm I'm glad you brought that up, and I'm glad you had that experience with my parents because I think it's something to talk about. Because I feel in 2020 we're moving into a new decade. Uh, this is a really interesting year because 2019 energetically was a year about cleaning out. It was a year about getting rid of things that weren't serving you well. And 2020 is really all about taking all those things that you've given up and using all of your beautiful skills and gifts and talents to be able to create more success in your life in every area, in every area of your life. So I'm particularly excited about 2020 because I'm ready. I'm ready to launch. You're ready to go. I'm ready to help other people launch too. And I'm just so excited about what just the new, just the meaning of a new deck, new decade is kind of exciting. Mm -hmm. But I believe Rusty, one of the things that is so key um, for us to think about this time of year is what can we do to better our lives? And the only way that we really can impact other people, especially people that we love that are around us, the only way we can do that is if we continue to better ourselves, right? And so one of those things that, that I believe that we should all be thinking about, men and women, um, young and old, that we should all be thinking about developing a group of support system, or I like to call it a tribe. I have lots of different tribes around me. Um, I have one core cry, one core tribe that's really special to me. Includes some family members, 
Um, but then I have lots of different tribes like my work tribe and, and my exercise tribe. And, and it's so cool because what this does for people is it gives them something that our environment doesn't give us in any other way. You know, we're always on a computer, we're on our cell phone, we're completely unplugged socially, so to speak. Right. And, and so having these people around you that love you and support you and help you along your way are so vital to our own emotional well-being and our own spiritual growth. And so I wanted to talk about that today. Like what, what does a tribe do for you as you move along in your life? What does a tribe do for you as you move along in your life? <laughs> well, the main thing is, is who couldn't use some support, right? Mm -hmm. We all need support. Uh, life is difficult. Um, there's a lot of things about our life uh, that is challenging at times, emotionally and mentally and financially, and support is a huge part of it. And that's why I think having different types of friends are really important. You know, like the different types of friends that I think are important to have is you always should have a friend that no matter what goes down, and this is usually maybe more of a lifelong friend. Okay. Um, some, no matter what goes down, no matter what is happening, you can pick up the phone or you can go over to their house or you can meet them for coffee or whatever. And you can tell them anything that you are going through and they will not judge you. They may help you kind of get straightened out a bit, but they won't judge you and you can tell them anything. So these are usually, um, longer friends, friends you've had for a long time, although it might not be might just be somebody that you met that's more like a soulmate that's just a, a friend soulmate like your friend your friend who we're going to probably have on the show in the next couple of weeks Jennifer yes. she's like your new yes. best BFF yes. right yes yes Jennifer's awesome and she's she's one of those people that I just met this last year but I feel like I've known her forever and um, so these are the kind of people that you need you need someone that you can call no matter what and if you don't have a friend like that, or maybe you've had one in the past, but you've lost contact with them, I would really encourage you to reconnect with some of these people because we need people that we can tell anything to. It's hard for some people though to make for you're a person that you, every time you meet somebody there, you knew, but you have to but I think it's hard for some people. Any it's hard because we don't practice it. You know, it's hard to not eat sugar because we don't practice it. It's hard to not drink too much alcohol because we don't practice it. It's hard to exercise because we don't practice it. So you just have to practice it because you can learn anything. Okay. Okay. I mean, really, you know? Mm -hmm. And so uh, it is more challenging for some people to make friends than others, but, but you get so much of it personally that I, w I just really encourage people to, to reach out to try to find that, that good, solid support person. And then we also need somebody in our life, Rusty, that can, you know, when we're a little off track, like we say, well, I'm just so mad at my sister-in-law. She said this to me and it's just so, it was just so disrespectful and, you know, you're just like going crazy. <laughs> you need someone that says, okay, come on now. I mean, that's super selfish. You know that she didn't mean that she's going through her own stuff. You need someone that can kind of just knock you upside the head and say, that's wrong. You know, you, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be responding that way. And, um, and, and I have a friend like that. Her name's Jane and, um, she'll, she calls it as she sees it. And I appreciate that because sometimes I'm just absolutely wrong. And, um, and then for sure you need to have a friend or somebody close to you. And I'm curious, Rusty, if you have somebody that's like that, that you can call up if you just need to go have fun. Like you will need to laugh. Someone that says no matter what time of day or night you call them and they're like, I'm in, I'm going. Sorry, my, my computer's on here. Your phone's going crazy. You're, you're, you, they're in, you know, they're, they, they want to go with you. And so you need to have a friend that's just a lot of fun that um, will help keep things light. Can I ask you a question that's the kind of off topic just a tiny bit, but I think it means a lot. Today is your birthday. Today's my birthday. Do you... And we're talking about the end of the year and a new decade. What kind of things go through your head today? Are you, uh, you're a reflective person, right? Is yes. this a reflective day? Yes. You know, I think back on this year, this last year was a really, really hard year for me emotionally. I went through a lot. Um, most people know I went through a divorce a couple of years ago and a year, year and nine months ago. And uh, it was really a difficult transition for me. I was married for a very long time and, um, I have an amazing family and it was, it's been very difficult for all of us. And um, I look back on this last year and I think about how um, I believe God put so many situations in my path that I would have never imagined would have happened. 
Um, and that's friends that have come and um, new friends and old friends that I've connected with. I've gotten closer to my parents than I've ever been in my life. I'm 56 and I, I've never been this close to my parents. Uh, I've always been close to my parents, but now I'm like really close because going through something difficult really sometimes brings people close together. And, um, and, and I've learned a lot about myself. I've, I've uh, started a couple new businesses this year and, and got some new business partners that I would have never imagined I would have been involved with. And, um, I just am so thankful for the difficult times this last year because um, many times I was very lonely and sad and, and guilty and feeling awful about, you know, just where I was in my life. And, and yet I, I just realized that nobody can change that but myself. No one, no one, I can't get any peace and any happiness from anything outside of myself. It all has to come from inside myself. And I think most of my life, Rusty, I've really um, focused so much on my work and so much on helping people and so much on my business and my kids and my family that I uh, often didn't look inward for happiness. I didn't, look, I didn't look at trying to fix some of the things internally, and I just kept running from them. And this last year is one of those years for me that just sort of slapped me upside the head and said, you need, you need, the happiness needs to come from within. And part of it isn't it, isn't it because you're kind of a new empty nester too, right? Yes. Your, your daughters that you put so much into your daughters, you love them so much, but now they live in a different state. That's, yes. Is that kind of part of this? Yeah, they've been gone for a while now, but, um, and they're graduated from college and both nurses in Dallas and they've been on their own for a while. Um, but it's just a totally different phase in my life that I never thought I would be in. And um, it was just a, a really huge adjustment for me. And, um, and I'm just so thankful that I have my friends and my family and that I did a lot of internal work this year. Because if you're, if you're feeling um, empty, if you're feeling sad, guilty, angry, resentful, wh whatever the, the feeling is, what, whatever you're struggling with, the only person that can change it is you. It has to come from inside you, meaning that you have to figure out what is it that I love? What, what is it that I want to do? What is it that I'm aspiring to do? What is it that I was put on this earth to do? And then, and then set out a plan to do it. And if that means that you need more spiritual help to do it, get it. If it means you need to get in better shape to do that, to feel better about yourself or, or, or live a healthier lifestyle, do it. And, and the great thing about everything about ourselves, Rusty, is we have the ability to change it. If we don't like who we are and we don't like how we feel, we have the ability to change it and nobody else does. Is that something, though, you would have said to me three years ago if you were talking to me? But it's different now that you had to actually live through it. Yes. I had to live through so many things this last year, physically, you know, an, an accident that was very painful, physically painful. Um, a lot of emotional stuff, um, sort of a rebirthing in a way. And I, I would say that the majority of my emphasis in the past has been more external for me. It's almost like I'm so developed externally, but not, I wasn't as developed internally. And so this last year for me was that. It was really working on the inside and saying, what makes Nisha happy? And, um, and I figured a lot of that stuff out this year and I just, I'm just really grateful for that. I'm really grateful that I was able to, to start the process of figuring that out. Uh, I'm very proud of you and I'm glad that I've been a part of this year with you too. And thank you very much for that. So awesome. thank you. God bless you. All right. So if you know, you are trying to make changes in your life and whether it's emotionally or physically or uh, whatever, uh, go to nishajackson.com, would you please, and find out what uh, Nisha might be able to do to help you. She's been there. All these things that you're going through, um, she's been there. And, and you know, some of the things, I, you know, I was looking at some of the, uh, the podcast numbers. You know what show has gone through the roof that people really want to hear about? Hashimoto's <laughs> has gone, I, I'm serious, it's like, you would not believe how many people have watched that show. Mm -hmm. And that way, we didn't put that up that long ago. Yeah. So, you know, there's some, there's some real pain out there. Yes, yes. There's lots of um, people that are very confused about what to do with their health because they're not getting concise answers. They're not getting real answers. And, or they're getting conflicting information. 
and they still ultimately don't feel well. And um, so what I love about this show is we talk about the spiritual component, the emotional component, the physical component, as far as your health goes, what, what you should be doing with your diet, your hormone system. I mean, all of those things need to come together because this show really was about developing a support system around you that will help you in this new decade, will help you in 2020. It will help you achieve your goals in a way that you can't even imagine because you can't do it on your own. You need support. And, 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 and even if the goal is just in January, the month of January, find one person that you can trust, one person that will help you get along your path uh, in a more enjoyable way, in a more supportive way. I would encourage you just to find one person that you could add to your support system and maybe, maybe find one person you could eliminate. Okay. Find one person to eliminate and one good person to add because this is all about balancing your energizers and your drainers. <laughs> nice. So get rid of a drainer and add in an energizer. And and so now you're part of our podcast tribe. There yes. are podcast tribe right That's there. right. Yay. Yay for Thanks for there. listening. Yay. I know I kind of changed subject. Did we miss anything on the tribe? I don't think so. Is there no, anything else you want to get in no, there before we wrap I just, it up? I just wanted to challenge people to not not stay internal as far as don't just be on your phone and your computer and doing your job. Think about getting out and, and connecting with people. You release an awesome hormone called oxytocin, which gives your life back to you. It gives you energy. It gives you internal love. There's so many benefits to the hormone oxytocin, and we get that with social connectivity. We get that. And um, you get it from hugging, you get oxytocin from hugging. There's so many things that you that you can do that support you. Yeah, and try to get the oxytocin, not the oxycontin. Yeah, oxytocin. Yeah, big oxytocin. Difference. It's a hormone, it's the love hormone. So it, it really is, it really is a wonderful thing to be able to support in your life. Well, we love you and we sure appreciate you for being a part of the Anisha Jackson show. Again, go to anishajackson.com or uh, check out One Peak Medical. Dot com right and uh, and just check things out and you know we're we're really wanting to make sure that uh, 2020 is a great year for you and also brilliant burnout the last chapter talks about what we just talked about here in the show the last chapter the vibe tribe the vibe tribe I like that that, that could be like a your new I don't know hip group yeah vibe like tribe. Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch it think, could be yeah, Nisha yeah, Jacks like and that, that, that might start stand up comedy or something yeah well, like your like your rap group <laughs> Nisha Jackson and the Vibe Tribe that's pretty good yo it's about that time all right that, it's about that time the end of the show we'll check you next time I'm Rusty Humphrey she's Nisha Jackson and thanks for checking out the Nisha Jackson show you can do your way. <laughs>